The Sanrio Animal Crossing update is coming in just a few days, and it's one of the biggest and most hyped updates thus far. The biggest news is that there's six Sanrio Hello Kitty inspired villagers that are coming to Animal Crossing, along with all of their unique items and furniture. We haven't gotten any new villagers added to the game in New Horizons yet, so this is a lot different than the other updates. I would say that bringing new villagers is the biggest thing you could possibly do. In typical Nikachu fashion, I will be ranking all six of the new villagers from worst to best. 6th place to 1st place, starting with 6th place. I will also be comparing them to villagers of the same species of villagers that already exist to give you a good look at how great all of these villagers actually are. Because I'll tell you this, and I'll be honest, all of these villagers are pretty good. Some of them might even be my top 10 of all time. They're very well designed. We have six villagers to go through. Itwell, Chelsea, Toby, Marty, Chai, and Rilla all inspired by different characters in the Sanrio world. With that said, let's get this ranking started with number 6, Toby. Toby is a rabbit villager inspired by Karo Karo Karopi, this adorable little froggo from the Hello Kitty universe. Toby happens to be a smug villager, which I find an interesting pick for this character. I'll be blunt, this is my least favorite of the group by a pretty big margin. While I love the very fun Ronald McDonald outfit he's wearing and the super stylish snow person on Toby's hair, the design is not nearly as polished, cute, or fascinating as the other designs. Karo Karo Karopi is actually my favorite character that they took inspiration from. Being such a silly frog with big eyes, it's so adorable. I feel like this design doesn't really hit any of the categories of design that makes Karo Karo Karopi the original such a great design. I enjoy that they didn't go for the obvious. They could have definitely made this villager a frog and it would be like, oh, okay, so the frog is a frog. Okay, I get it. But no, they went for something a little bit different. They went for making it a rabbit, which I think is pretty interesting. But I think they could have gone a little bit further. When I rank it against the other rabbit villagers, it's about in the middle of the pack. It's below villagers like Bunny, Coco, Francine. But Toby is around the same level of villagers I like, like Mira and Hopkins. Coming in at the lowest score here, I would put Toby around low C tier. It's also really important to note that the Karo Karo Karopi items are, in my opinion, the best of the entire update, which definitely makes me enjoy the character a bit more. I mean, look how cute these items are. They're amazing. Number five is Rilla. Like I said, there's a big difference between number six and the rest of the villagers here. Every villager from Rilla and onward, I really like and is at the lowest a B tier villager. I really like Rilla. Rilla is inspired by Hello Kitty, the most well-known Sanrio character, a global icon on par with the popularity of characters like Sonic and Link from Zelda. With that said, I think Rilla has a big disadvantage because she's modeled after Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty is the most well-known, replicated, we see Hello Kitty on so much different merch and designs in the world that it's kind of a little overdone and not as interesting or different, you know what I'm saying? So as much as I really like Rilla and I think she's an amazing villager, I love her hair, I love the bow in her hair, I love the Hello Kitty shirt. But compared to the other villagers, this outfit is a little bit more basic than the rest of it. I think this design is good, but the other ones kind of are more interesting and, and feel more fresh and new. Because when you say Hello Kitty is coming to Animal Crossing, this is kind of what you expect. And it's good, it delivered on the expectations, but I think the rest really do something different and unique. Rilla is also a peppy villager, one of my favorite personalities in the game, and I think it's I think it makes sense that she's modeled after Hello Kitty. You know, she's a peppy peppy personality. I would still give Rilla a very high score. I would put her in high B tier, and I think she's one of my favorite villagers from her species. I think the community will like her a lot too, and probably make it the community's favorite gorilla villager as well, which is very fair. Amazing design. Compared to the other villagers, I would put her on the top right next to Rocket and Boone, which I think are amazing as well. Number four, Chelsea. Chelsea is a deer villager that's inspired by the character My Melody. She is a normal type personality. Like Hello Kitty, I think My Melody is one of the more basic designs. Not that it's bad, but compared to the other designs they pulled from, this is kind of the one that's a little bit more generic. But with Chelsea, they did something very interesting and took her in a direction artistically I wouldn't have expected Chelsea to go in, 
being inspired by my melody. The shape of her green hair is so unique. I don't know if I've seen any villagers in the game with the same hairstyle, with her green bangs and her hair kind of going in an arc formation. It's really different from the other villagers, and I love the hairstyle on top of it too, so it's unique and it's great. I love it. The pastel green on her design is one of the best colors in the world. Prove me wrong. Paired with the pastel pink outfit and hairband, it just all really goes well together. The downside with Chelsea is that she's a deer villager, and the deer villager have some of the best designs in the entire game. So when you compare her to fan favorites and personal favorites of mine, like Eric and Bam, and uh, compared to the other deer villagers, she's kind of in the middle of the road, with villagers like Eric, Fauna, Diana, and Bo being above her. But I think she's still a great design. I love her design. I would put her very high in B tier still. I think she's a great, great design villager. Now number three, we are officially halfway through this list and it's incredibly hard thus far. I mean, wow, I can't do this. It's so hard. I actually changed the order of number three and number two like twice already. So I've decided this is the way I wanna go. I signed up for this gig and gee, golly gosh, I will finish it. Number three might come as a surprise. I think a lot of you would throw it at number one. And if I had to make an educational guess as to who the community's favorite villager will be from this new collection of characters, it'll probably be this character, Marty, the lazy male bear cub villager inspired by Pom Pom Purin. The original design of Pom Pom Purin is a design that would be very difficult to translate into Animal Crossing. I mean, how would you turn this thing into an Animal Crossing villager? It seems pretty tough, but I think they did a great job masterfully turning it into a bear cub villager. I, I wouldn't have thought of that originally. It's a very unique design. And as you guys know, I love, love, love the color yellow. And this is my personal favorite type of yellow. I like a farm yellow that incorporates darker shades of yellow orange and brown kind of like a thanksgiving color palette and they achieved that with the warmer tone design of marty especially with his house in my opinion the best designed house of all the new villagers with some of the coolest and most creative items on top look at this chocolate themed table with dessert stacked on top of it it looks so scrumptious i'd eat all of the dessert right now marty has a similar predicament as chelsea uh-oh, as the rest of the bear cub villagers are just so good. I mean, you got Blue Bear, and of course, you, you got Maple and Judy. I really do like Marty, though, and I would put Marty at number two, tie with Maple. Of course, Judy still being the number one. After the release of the DLC, I would definitely say, say Marty is an A-tier bear cub villagers, being one of the best. Number two is Chai. I mean, come on now. Elephant Villager is inspired by Cinema Roll. She is also a normal personality villager. Cinema Roll is one of the cutest designs like ever. And looking at this design of a character, I have no idea how they'd interpret it into an Animal Crossing villager, but they did it in such a clever way. I mean, look at it. Chai's elephant ears kind of resemble the big winged ears of Cinema Roll. And that bright baby blue color looks so cool as well. She has the same color scheme as fan favorite goat villager Sherb. Before we get into the elephant in the room, we'll talk about that in a second, my other favorite part of the design is her bright yellow nose. I love the pastel blue and pastel yellow color combination. It's very striking. Now, like I said, we gotta get to the elephant in the room. She has a literal teacup on her head. Oh my god, what the heck? I love it. Her name is Chai, I remind you. That is everything. She literally... It's not even a tiny little teacup either. Like, no, this is a massive cup of coffee sitting on her head. It's amazing. This is, in my opinion, the best accessory in the entire game. I like it even more than meringue strawberries. It's just everything. It's campy, it's silly, it's just fantastic. I think Chai is an A-tier villager, and very impressively, she's now, in my opinion, she's now the best elephant villager in the entire game. Above villagers I really like, like Tia and Tucker. I would put Chai in very high A tier. Now who's number one? Well, if you look around the room, there's only one spot left, bucko. Are you surprised? I'm not. I love this villager. Who is it? Who am I? Who are you? Okay, never mind. Here is the best Sanrio villager according to me. I looked up how to pronounce it because it looked kind of hard to pronounce and it's pronounced E12. Even the name just sounds legendary and iconic. 
Inspired by the little twin stars in the Sanrio universe, Etoile is a pastel star princess. I think that the little star twins might have been one of the hardest to turn into an Animal Crossing character, since there's two of them. Do they just go off of one of them? Do they combine the two? Well, it looks like they combine the two into one villager, which I think was a right choice because this villager looks amazing. This villager is pastel, rainbow, clouds, unicorns, all of it, all wrapped into one adorable sheet villager. Like, she is the most, like, galaxy cute rainbow sparkle villager in the game already. I mean, look at her house, even. The star with a rainbow attached to it on the table? Come on now. This is like a fantasy world, and each well stepped right out of it and came to Animal Crossing. I love the primary purple color they went with. It's very magenta fairy-like, with the blue and pink stars plastered all over her design. It's everything. And when compared to the rest of the sheep villagers, in my opinion, there's no contest. She's definitely the best which might be controversial because I think she's even better than Dom, the most popular sheep villager in the game right now. Will she overtake Dom? Who's your favorite? I want you to fight with me in the comments section. Do you think Chelsea's the best? Rilla's the best? Toby? Who do you think's the best? This is my opinion, so try not to drag me too much, but I had a lot of fun ranking these villagers because I like them all. Honestly, even Toby, which is my least favorite, I still like the design. I think all of them are good in some way. I think they're a great bunch of new characters, and I think a lot of them will end up being fan favorites. And just looking at the items too, like this is a really big item up update. So many different floorings and wallpaper for every new villager gets their own new unique flooring and wallpaper and a bunch of houseware and furniture and equipment. There's a lot of stuff in this update so I'm really excited and I can't wait to see what we all do with all these new items and characters. So I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more rankings and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.